One of the last outback roads constructed by Len Bedell's Gun Barrel Road Construction Party, Gary Junction Road is also one of few direct west to east crossings from the West Australia coast into the heart of the Northern Territory Red Centre. The westernmost section from Well 35 on the Canning Stock Route to Calawarth Station is now off limits and is mostly overgrown. This leaves the present road length from Well 33 on the Stock Route across to the Tanami Road at around 800 kilometres. Eastern half of the road from Mount Liebig to the Jupiter Well site was underway in late 1960 before the infamous Greater Breakdown and then rationed truck fire incidents. Continuation of the western half waited until May 1963 to commence using only a grader in the sandy terrain. Now traverse of the road started at Running Water Spring, then across the Telfer Mine Road before joining the Punmu and Kiwakura access roads. Running Waters is a thermal spring that emerges from bed of the Oakover River. We access the waterhole from the north via Skull Springs Road on a rainy afternoon. The access track across the rocky riverbed is very rough and shakes the rig around. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Same thing you are. <laughs> Try doing this with your Jayco. <laughs> <laughs> Once at the waterhole, the setting is very serene, though we opted out of taking a dip on the cold afternoon. With more rain expected, we set up camp high on the riverbank in case of flash floods through the night. Here we made a simple meal on the induction cooktop, sheltered in the back of the tea van and away from passing showers. Break the eggs in there and stir it all up with your cherry tomatoes. No, no, they're in the fridge. After some solid overnight rain, we woke to a clearing day. Use of the T-Van quick setup meant we were quickly packed with no wet canvas to handle. An hour later and we were on the Telfer Road, which was firm despite being covered with a slurry of slippery red mud. A 
The roadworks team had been in the process of resheeting the road before the rain, which added to the mess. Approaching the Telfer mine, we came to a road closure point, but we were allowed through while heavy transport remain stopped. The sloppy road conditions continued until we turned away from Telfer Mine and onto the sandy surface of Punmu Road. The road soon entered Kalamilya National Park and skirted around the north shore of Lake Dora. Despite a few puddles, the section of road to Punmu was smooth and had enough gravel capping to avoid much slipping and sliding. We bypassed Punmu community because it was getting close to the store closing time and instead opted for a roadside lunch. Here I removed the stone stomper which was becoming weighed down with mud and almost dragging on the ground. Other than dodging camels, we made good time past Lake Ald and onward to Kanawaraji to refuel at $3.10 a litre.
Only a few kilometres further, we set up camp at the iconic Canning Stock Route, Well 33. Another clear, cool morning found us heading eastward once more on the 65 km long Jenkins track to join the proper Gary Junction Road at its intersection with the Gary Highway. A customary Beadle plaque is affixed to a 44 gallon drum, together with a visitor's book in which we recognise some fellow travellers had passed before us. Onward again when we encountered one of the outback graders that worked tirelessly to keep these tracks in good shape. However, once past the grader, the corrugations grew worse until we entered the desert oak country approaching Jupiter Well. It's easy to see why Jupiter Well is such a recommended campsite, with sweet water on tap and majestic desert oaks all around. Amazing, but it's still um Even though Jupiter Well was not established by Bedell, he took trouble to erect a plaque advising westbound travellers that it was eleven miles ahead of them. From here road conditions varied, but were generally good, at least as far as Kiwakura, with corrugations limited to some of the corners and climbs. We passed the site of the gun barrel rations truck fire, and continued into Kiwakura to view the relocated wreck. There was an uneasy vibe in the community, so after looking at the truck we moved on without calling into the store. With the day closing out, 
we started scouting for a campsite. Many of the red rock bluffs around us looked promising. A sign pointing to SOS water looked like it may lead to somewhere. We found a deserted and vandalised outbuilding, but it didn't pass the gut test. We did, however, settle on a nearby old construction campsite that was well hidden, flat and firm. Our last day on the Gary Junction Road started cool and clear, with us soon rumbling across corrugations past Mount Tetkins and onto the WA Northern Territory State Border, complete with Len Bedell's marker posts and plaque. As we had found previously, road condition deteriorates once leaving Western Australia. Here we rattled and shook onward to our last Bedell landmark, Sandy Blight Junction. Sadly, Len's post was rotting beside the track without a plaque. We passed the news on to the Bedell family so a future restoration could be planned. Our Gary Junction Road crossing ended when we turned south at Papunya, about 100 kilometres short of the road's natural terminus at the Tanami Road. Overnight trouble in town had closed Papunya's fuel supply and store, so we continued onward. Watch out for our next video to share the adventures we find in the Red Centre.